Thousands of people are coming to the Big Island, all wanting to see Mauna Loa erupting. tv 4s Jeremy Lee now joins us live from the Big Island. Jeremy, what do you have for us there tonight? Well, if you did the drive that I did coming from the village of Volcano through Hilo and all the way to where I stand now, the Gilbert Kahele Recreation Site, which is opposite Old Saddle Road, well, you were hit with a lot of windshield wiper weather, rain, and those arriving might just be lucky to see Mauna Loa peering out through the clouds right there. Hopefully that will stay and continue through the night. Now take a look at this video that I shot earlier today. I was down at the Kilauea site, which is a viable alternative, especially for those who want to check out the caldera up close. Now, uh, it's a great alternative in the sense that Old Saddle Road has been drawing crowds and a trip to Kilauea makes a lot of sense, especially if you're on the Hilo side of the island to begin with. Now, instead of heading west of Hilo, where I am now, a short 40-minute drive south gets you to the Volcanoes National Park and the caldera there. Now, in the early morning, you can catch the glow of not one, but two volcanoes if you're lucky, and it's clear at 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. Those are the best times, according to many that I spoke to. Now, how is that affecting businesses down in the volcano village? Well, at first, some have been hesitant, and they're hoping for a lot more people to come and patronize the village. This is what one manager of a restaurant had to say. Thanksgiving were crazy, and ever since the uh, eruption, we've actually been a little bit slower lately. Uh, more, more because I think, you know, people are going up into the mountain uh, to go see the uh, eruption. You know, so we've been kind of slower. Um, but people are trying to come more and more often. I feel like people are just thought it was dangerous, you know. So now that people are realizing it's it's beautiful and we get to check it out, right? So they're starting to come more and more often. So, and they're hoping that more patrons will come soon you know it's been quite a uh, a crowded site for the last couple of nights up off of the old saddle road area and daniel k noe highway with all the adjustments that went into effect last night we're hoping that there won't be uh, too much congestion but we'll have to wait and see you know essentially uh, here at the at the gilbert kahele uh, rest stop the one of the restrooms overflowed yesterday so obviously they're not used to having hundreds and hundreds of people coming on hand but as you can see it's worth it especially at a moment like right now when Mauna Loa peers through the clouds and really gives the tourists here exactly what they came for. We're reporting live Jeremy Lee, KITV4 Island News.